Alright guys, hope you're doing well. So in this video I'm going to talk about over sensitivity to supplementation. Now actually this is a bigger issue than, than many people realise and think. And I personally um, believe that a, a, a big issue that I personally had as a practitioner uh, way back is that, you know, when you generate a programme for someone, uh, you will go through basically a step-by-step uh, workflow to figure out what supplements people are on. So, you know, if you're slow oxidation, you'll be on sort of Megapan or slow ox. You know, if you've got a low NAK ratio, it's Lincomin or NAK up. Um, you know, if you're in sort of uh, fast oxidation with sort of a low NAK ratio, it's SBF. So, you know, you go through this and you present to the, to the individual, you know, set of supplements um, for them to take. The issue is that, that a lot of people, and it's getting worse and worse, a lot of people are sensitive to supplements, too sensitive to supplements. And, uh, you know, I was a culprit. I I had a problem with, it, with this way back in the beginning. You know, I remember taking zinc for the first time and it completely wired me out. And uh, it took me a long time for me to even tolerate kelp, for example. So one of the things that I personally uh, do as a practitioner is um, and one thing I'm going to be really focusing on much more uh, with the sort of application that I've built for people is giving people uh, easing people into the into the supplement regime. Usually, when you speak to an individual, when you look at a hair test, you can kind of get an idea of how sensitive an individual is to supplementation. And um, I personally think it's really important to slowly work someone into the supplement regime. So in this video I'm going to talk about um, some of the supplements found on a mineral balancing program. Uh, but I will say that I have written quite an in-depth article on this. So if you are a client of mine, you can go to htmapro.com forward slash Lewis Moon and there's a long article there's a long article on the supplementation um and you know integrating the supplements into the program it's an article that i've, I've actually ha had has been written for quite a while but because i had i had been taking clients for for quite a while um i've not really used it um so if you yeah if you um if you do read this article it's slightly outdated because obviously we've got the uh we've got the valence stuff now um Sorry, I'll move it onto here. So it's slightly slightly out of date because we've got the valence stuff now. But all you got to do is uh, substitute, um, you know, Mega Pan for slow ox, um, and then Limcamin for NAK up, uh, Zinc for Zinc Matrix Pro. Yeah, but in this video, I'm going to talk about the main supplements on a mineral balancing program and just give you a quick quick overview of uh, some of the issues that you can run into especially with overstimulation so megapan is is usually a big one you kind of got to ease people into megapan quite quite a lot um i when when you know a couple of years ago when i was doing working with clients much more i would actually tell them to take one megapan every three to four days just to slowly ease them in and see if there's any issues with it. We've obviously switched, we've obviously recently changed Megapan to slow ox um, because we wanted more, we wanted active ingredients. Uh, one of the issues with, uh, you know, Megapan and, and inactive ingredients is if you've got a poor liver function, especially, um, it can build up in the liver and cause things like insomnia and a wired feeling. But just people in general, people that are really ill, usually you see them in a four low pattern, you know, in a sympathetic dominant pattern. They can be too, um, the supplement regime initially anyway, uh, can be too much and people need to ease their way into it. I do have a friend who's been on the program for years and years and, um, you know, they've had to really extremely slowly work their way up. I've known people who are that sensitive uh, they've had to just literally scrape little bits of powder onto onto foods. Another uh, another one is thyro complex. So thyro complex is uh, a thyroid support. Again, you know people that are sensitive to supplements can get an initial oversensitivity to thyro complex. 
Um, the same with Endodren. Uh, so basically any supplement that's more stimulatory in nature, generally people um, will be, can be quite sensitive to them and it can, it, it can cause them to be overstimulated. Um, <clears throat> but there's a few exceptions to the rule which we'll talk about in this video. So Endodren is one of them. So GB3, I mean, so obviously if you feel like you are overstimulated to supplementation, um, one of the technique, one of the things that we want to do is kind of get you out of that. Obviously the best thing to do is just stop the supplement altogether temporarily and work with your practitioner. I would be working with clients to, you know, keep a note, keep a note about that and then maybe, maybe integrate it further down, uh, further down the line. Um, but there are other supplements on the program that do the kind of opposite of of, of uh, trying to stimulate the body. They actually are designed to uh, buff, uh, calm the body and, and they act as a sort of a buffering system. So I've actually found GB3 to be one of the supplements um, that, that that helps with that. And these these the more calming supplements help with um, with healing reactions as well. Um, if you have used our application hair analysis dot report to generate a supplement report, uh, there's little text in blue um, talking about you know what what to do if you're going through a healing reaction, and that's quite useful. So paramin is a useful uh, supplement to take um, if you're overstimulated, so you want to stop the ones that are stimulating you. But paramin is a calming uh, supplement. It has calcium and magnesium in it. And tends to calm down the body. Um, Limcomin can be stimulating to people initially, um, mainly because it generally has more stimulatory minerals in it, copper, manganese. It does unfortunately have the inactive B6, so we do, you know, I personally recommend uh, a new supplement called NAK Up, which has the active version of, of B6 in it, P5P. So, stress pack generally found that people are not particularly stimulated to stress pack uh stress pack is you'll generally find um you know most people are in slow oxidation or follow pattern so i'd say like 80 percent of hair analysis tests initially are in sort of like slow oxidation or fall lows around 20 percent you know maybe 30 percent of people are in fast oxidation so this is actually a fast oxidation supplement and it's primarily designed to calm the body down even though it has some technically stimulatory uh, minerals in it but it's got a lot of calming uh, minerals in it like inositol and, and choline etc um, which interestingly enough if you are sensitive to the supplements and you are trying to um, calm the body down short term while the uh, body um, gets the problematic uh, supplements sort of out of the body uh, you know, think inositol is actually quite a good supplement to take, uh, temp only temporarily, um, to to just deal with that overstimulation issue. Um, you can take five hundred milligrams. You know, up to a thousand milligrams would be would be okay. I mean, I've took like fifteen hundred milligrams over the course of the day to deal with that um, issue. But you don't want to be on it long term, <clears throat> um, especially as a slow oxidizer. This is just a temporary solution. Um, if the issue is overstimulation from supplementation. Um, and again, you've got to work with your practitioner to figure that out. Because some people um, are actually going through a healing reaction. Um, but personally, even if, you're going, if you are going through a healing reaction, uh, I personally tell uh, individuals to reduce the more stimulatory supplements. Um, because at the end of the day, if you're going through a healing reaction, the body's usually, well always stimulated because the metals and the toxins are stimulating the body so taking a stimulatory supplement is not going to help the situation really um, so I personally find it best to stop them um, and again yeah if you are a client of mine we do have a cool app in the system uh, called the troubleshooting app so if I do think you're going through a healing reaction then I do get clients to fill out this little system and um, it will basically ask you questions and figure out how well you do in the program and then it'll go on to a symptoms list and from that I can get a much better understanding of 
if you're going through a healing reaction and uh, what healing reaction you're actually going through. So moving on, zinc. Zinc generally uh, we would say is a calming uh, mineral, uh, but for some people they are actually super, super sensitive to zinc, especially in the beginning of the program. So that can be a culprit. SPF is similar to stress pack in the sense that it's a fast oxidizer um, supplement. Chromium, you don't, we don't usually, uh, you don't, you'll usually not see chromium by itself on a uh, hair analysis uh, supplement report, but yeah, that could be an issue. Magnesium is generally not an issue. Magnesium generally tends to calm the body down and you can use it, um, you know, as a buffering uh, mechanism. We don't really give magnesium on its own. Um, it's, it's always combined with paramin or CalMag Fusion, uh, because it's really important to get the calcium magnesium level uh, ratios uh, correct when supplementing, or you will generally get an imbalance. So it's usually quite easy to see when a person's just supplementing magnesium, or they're taking too many sort of Epsom salt baths, because you'll just see a big spike in magnesium on the hair test, and the calcium level is in a, a low range or something similar. But you can temporarily take extra magnesium or you can, can have an Epsom salt bath, which is going to calm down the system um, if you if you are going through a issue related to supplement overstimulation. <clears throat> TMG or trimethylglycine is, um, helps with uh, liver methylation. It's an extract from beetroot. Generally a good idea to not take if you are uh, going through trying to figure out uh, supplement stimulation issues. Renamide, I also, um, it has some kidney uh, glandulars in it. Um, again, can be an issue for some people. Selenium can be an issue for some people. Um, and, uh, you know, one of the things with selenium is it can actually push out mercury quite a lot. So sometimes it might not be um, a overstimulation to supplements. It can be um, a healing reaction, usually mercury, and that's where we have tools to try and figure out uh, whether it's a, a, an overstimulation or not. Taurine tends to be okay. Uh, that generally calms the body down. So does L-lysine. EPA, DHA doesn't tend to be an issue for anyone, uh, for, for anyone in terms of um, supplement stimulation or oversensitivity, should I say, is probably the correct way of uh, discussing it. Um, end of edges, sometimes people can be a bit overstimulated by the end of edges just because their body is so sick, the influx of, of, of uh, vegetable minerals in the form of the end of edges capsule can be really can be quite overwhelming for someone. Um, kelp can be uh, too stimulating for an individual initially. Um, I want to stress, you know, when I'm talking about all this, it doesn't mean you should throw the a baby out with the bath water when it comes to overstimulation um, or oversensitivity. Some people are just too sensitive initially. It doesn't mean we should never take kelp. It just means that for the time being, let's get the body functioning better. Let's get the diet up to scratch. Let's maybe start some detoxification, ensure the lifestyle is much more rested. And then after a while, we can start reintegrating some of the supplements that people are too sensitive to. Um, vitamin D3, um, yep, sometimes people can feel a little bit stimulated from vitamin D3 initially, and uh, now sunflower lecithin tends to be one of the ones that people that will actually calm um, an individual down. So, sorry, probably a lot to digest there, but the whole point of this video is to just highlight the fact that some people are over sensitive or too sensitive to supplements in the beginning. It doesn't mean the supplements are bad. It doesn't, eat, it doesn't necessarily mean you're on the wrong supplement regime. It just means that your body at the moment, it's in such a sick state, it's in such a de depleted state, um, that it's it, the supplements are just overwhelming it, and it can just make a person feel tired, feel uh, overwhelmed, wired, um, and, you know, c c can cause other issues. Now, really, it's up to you to work with your practitioner to figure out whether you are actually stimulated to the supplements. Personally, as a practitioner, I like to start people slowly with the supplements and, and work them up. 
and work with them o over a period of time to try and figure out whether the supplements are working well for them and to ease them into the supplement regime. Um, you know, one of the things with the program is because it's been developed over a 40 year period, it's it's got better and better and better and better and better to a point whereby sometimes if you're an individual that is really struggling with their health and you do all of the program all at once and jump in the deep end, you know, it's a, it's a, it can sometimes feel like throwing water on a chip pan fire. It's just too overwhelming and uh, some people need to slowly ease their way into the regime. <clears throat> if you do feel like you're overstimulated from supplements, it is obviously important to uh, stop them. Uh, try and use the advice in this video maybe to do some trial and error and figure out which ones are the, are the main culprits. You know, Increase the supplements that, gen that will um, help to calm things down. Things like paramin, um, you know, inositol is a good supplement to have um, in the cupboard, although you shouldn't be on that long term. Um, GB3, I often find to be helpful. I mean, with the paramin, you know, you can temporarily go up to like 333 or even 444. And, uh, you know, I found in extreme situations that sort of chewing paramin um, every sort of couple of hours uh, will help to keep a lid on uh, on the body. Taking things like milk thistle, you know, dandelion root temporarily is helpful just to aid with liver support and doing things like coffee enemas, um, especially if, you know, if, if you are new to the program and you're sensitive to supplements, there's a chance that you might be sensitive temporarily to the caffeine in the enemas but it's still useful to do. So just do them in the morning and just use a little bit of coffee. Maybe half a half a teaspoon uh, would be suitable. And yeah, one of the best things to do is a sauna therapy. Um, so yeah, just try and, try and get in a sauna, a dry sauna. You know, we kind of recommend the near-infrared saunas on a mineral balancing program. However, you know, if you are extremely EMF sensitive, then that can actually be stimulatory as well. So I generally say, you know, the second best is just sort of a, a dry sauna or a steam sauna um, if you do suffer from EMF sensitivity. If you don't suffer from EMF, EMF sensitivity, then doing the near, near infrared sauna is an excellent way of calming the body down. Other things are, you know, making sure you you're eating plenty of vegetables, stay away from sugars and carbohydrates, temporarily increase things like eggs, which have a, a lot of sort of choline inside of them. They really help to calm the body down and help with liver um, liver support. Increase red meat is extremely helpful. Um, you know, the, 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 the zinc in red meat, because you're having, because, because you're ingesting zinc as a whole food, you don't, you don't tend to get the reactions that some people can get from initially taking zinc um, as a supplement. So increasing things like lamb. Lamb burgers are fantastic. If you can get some organic lamb burgers and just boil them in some water um, and just uh, uh, just as the... Um, yeah, try, try to keep it a little bit red inside of the burger. Um, that's extremely helpful. Um, and then, yeah, temporarily you can add oils onto your food so oils and fats you know butter we've talked about eggs um you know th those are the best really you know extra virgin olive oil they will it will uh, lower the oxidation rate of the body generally in effect make you feel more calmer so temporarily even if you're a slow oxidizer i do give people i do tell people to do that just to help the body calm down temporarily while we get things back on track once the body's come down into more of an equilibrium state if they are a slow oxidizer i would tell them to reduce the oils and the fats um although a little bit of butter is in, on, on some on the vegetables as a slow oxidizer is uh, is okay and it definitely makes the vegetables more palatable if i'm being completely honest with you <clears throat> other things you want to be doing is taking some long long walks some slow walks you know, deep breathing, trying to make yourself feel as calm as possible, stay away from EMF 
saucers, computers, you know, too much TV, too much phone time, all this is going to uh, stimulate the body uh, way too much. But yeah, the most important thing is try and get in touch with the practitioner. Um, but yeah, usually this this will happen, you know, as soon as you if you if you're new to the program, if you're particularly unwell, and you've started the the full supplement regime, um, people can be overstimulated. So hopefully that's helped somewhat this uh, this video on supplementation. Uh, like I say, if you are wanting to start the program with me, you can go to htmapro.com forward slash Lewis Moon and there's quite a few options for you there to sign up. Um, yeah, I have started taking on clients again and, and it, it's actually uh, it's actually increasing quite rapidly. So um, it, it will there will be a point where I will be I'll be shutting off um, shutting off clients. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section. I love reading the comments. Um, it makes me want to do um, more videos, and I like to uh, answer the questions as well. So, um, yeah, please do that, and I'll see you.